Hey guys, Boris Lasper from BKT again. Now that you've had a chance to take a look at the event risk calendar, let's find out exactly how we trade it. And it's actually a very, very simple system. We only have four rules for trading the event risk calendar, and here they are. Rule one, we basically enter a position about 15 to 20 minutes before a major news release. And we do this for several reasons. Number one, we don't want anything else affecting our trade. We don't want to be polluted by any other kind of a price flow. So 15, 20 minutes will pretty much guarantee us that it's only going to be the news that's going to matter as far as the price action goes. And also, this is a relatively calm time before the news that allows us to get into a position without too much volatility, too many spreads widening out. Once we're in position, we're going to place our stop either 10 points above or below the swing high, depending on whether we're going to go long or short. But never more than 30 points worth of risk on any given trade. So if the swing lows or highs are outside of the range, we simply use a money stop of 30 points. And the reason is because we're either right on the trade or we're out. There is, no, there is absolutely no reason to, to, to risk more than 30 points on any one of these trades, according to all of our experience. Now, if the trade does work our way, let's say we risked 30 points and the position moves 30 points in our direction, we're going to take half the position off by the amount risked. And then we're going to move the rest to break even and manage the trade that way. And finally, the second half that we're going to manage, there's a variety of factors of how we can get out of the position. We can use a two bar high. We can use three times risk. So if we risk 30 points and the trade moved 90 points in our direction, we could just simply take the whole thing off the table or we can use a 20 period SMA to, uh, to trail our trade. Let's take a look at exactly how this would have worked in a trade that we just did literally a couple of minutes ago. If you recall, when I was doing the other presentation, we were bullish the Eiffel report in Germany. And I had recorded this presentation actually before the Eiffel report, and now I'm recording this presentation after the Eiffel report. So let me just show you exactly what happened over the last hour and a half. Basically, we were absolutely correct. The Eiffel report had printed much higher, just as we had expected. We took a position at around 156.95, um, about 15, 20 minutes prior to the release. And of course, the release was much better than expected. And this is a five-minute bar chart. You can see that within the first 10 minutes, we got filled on our T1, on our short target of plus 30, and moved the rest of the position to break even. Now here, there's a variety of factors of how you yourself could manage the position. As you can see, this was such a big burst that it actually went to three times our direction. And therefore, we probably would have exited here at plus 90 on the second half and just taken the money and run. But if you wanted to milk this position a little bit more, you could then trail it by what we call a two bar high or two bar low. Basically, on a five minute chart, if you make two consecutive lows, this is assuming we're going to go on, on to the upside uh, on a long position, and conversely, if we're going to do short, it's going to be two bar highs. We use this particular level here as our trailing stop. And as you can see right now, it seems to be really um, tagging this whole level. Let me just highlight this for you. It's basically around 57.04. Now, if the price action breaks 57.04 and you wanted to use a two bar high, you would simply use that to exit yourself out. And that would be about another 110 points on the second half of the position. So as you can see, the event risk calendar not only works, but it works sometimes magnificently when you're on the correct side of the trade. And it allows you to have this incredible burst of trading all within very, very, very short amount of time. I mean, from the time that the, this trade really started about an hour ago to the time that I'm recording this now has been no more than an hour and a half, and it's been responsible for 150 points worth of profit. I'm wishing you the best of luck. This is Boris Lasswick for VKT. We'll have more information about the event risk calendar in the next video.